we were talking before about um, whether friends have been warned off, you know, potential partners and boyfriends and this sort of stuff. Is it true you were warned off Brian? Well, you see, the thing about it is, when I first met Brian, there was obviously a lot of stuff in the paper about him for, like, five years before. That wasn't true, but, like, you always believe everything you read, of course. <laughs> uh, and when I first saw him, I was like, oh, there's that idiot. And then <laughs> that was the first thing I thought, and I actually didn't know him at all. And then I spoke to him that night, and that was the end of that. And he was just this amazing guy, and, like, everything that had been said about him yeah, and previously yeah. just wasn't true. So once everyone got to meet him, everyone was like, oh, my God, he's actually amazing. He's so lovely. And don't believe everything you read, I suppose. See, that's quite reassuring, really, yeah. isn't yeah. it? That's what I was yeah. saying. Sometimes it's not always the case that what someone's telling you is correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, uh, quite often it is as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, what intrigues me about you two, you remind me a bit of Fergie and Andrew. They're always going on about we're fantastic friends, we still hang out together, we love each other, but we split up. And yeah. I don't understand that. I know, it is a weird one. Now, like, honestly, we've had absolute killings with each other as well. Like, we're not just this... We didn't just go from being married to being, like, very best friends. It's, it's hard, and it is hard every day. And I think what probably makes it easier right now is that neither of us have moved on. Yeah. And I think, yeah. like, yeah. when he moves on, of course I'm going to be jealous. Like, it's just going to be a natural reaction. But my biggest worry is that, like, his new girlfriend won't let me be his friend. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, because that happened with, with me and Shane. Me and Shane were really good friends, and still are to a certain degree, but it's when other people... Yeah, you when you meet friends. your new partners, it's they not fair on them. That, yeah. They? Yeah. 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 So, so there you... isn't a chance, then, of getting back together. You're just buddies. <gasps> I would never say never, but no, not right now. We're just, we're just such... We're so good at being friends, but then yeah. when it comes to being a couple, we, we aren't as good at that. <laughs> so okay. <when> Colleen <laughs> reckons it's because he's quite lazy. <laughs> She was telling us about the show. We've talked about it this one. She says, I know what that was. I saw him on this show. He was terrible. He didn't do anything. I said she just kept having to go him because he didn't want to do it. He I'm does enough. So, yeah, I'm seven. He is, yeah. He's still like that, yeah. Seven but days. like you can't. I thought, he has learned how to use the washing machine, so that was a <laughs> He had to, as soon as I left, he's like, he's learned to use the washing machine. I see him using the dishwasher. He even went through his clothes the other day, and I'm like, what? Who is this person? But yeah. <laughs> but it's funny, isn't it? What you what you find endearing as some in somebody as a friend, exactly. when they're a partner, you sometimes get irritated by it. Yeah. And you guys maybe have done that the other way around, that yeah. you're now learning to be endeared by the things that obviously annoyed you when you were married. Yeah, because I like seeing uh, his house can be a mess for as long as he wants because I actually live in a different house <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's really handy well, maybe for me. that's where you should try out, because, you know, we, we've said many times yeah. in the past that, you know, the key to a successful relationship is not yeah. just separate toilets, it's separate houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a honestly common, thing that a common could thing work. Yeah. the loose women green It is. <laughs> I'm really curious to know, we will move off, Brian, in just a second, because you're a lovely, successful woman <laughs> in your own life, but I'm curious about this. When you spend Valentine's toge Day together and you were a couple, what do you do? Because do you just <laughs> hang out as mates and...? It wasn't really like that. He was in Austria doing the jump, and me and my cousin yeah. went over to see him, and we were staying in a hotel, and it just so happened that Valentine's Day was, was on when I was there, but he didn't bring me out for dinner, he didn't get me any flowers, nothing right. like that, so it was just like it was a big group of us. No it wonder wasn't... you divorced him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about this documentary that you're doing. It sounds yeah. absolutely incredible. You're, you're going through different sort of scenarios and putting yourself into some incredible situations. The, the first episode uh, is Vogue in Prison. Yeah. What happens there? Well, I went over... It's like a sort of journey, and it's just looking at the whole American prison system and the way they do things. I would definitely commit a crime here if you're planning on it, because down uh, in America, it's so... <laughs> so it's scary, brutal. isn't it? It's so brutal over there. I met one man, and he went to prison when he was 12 for stealing a car. 12, like, and everyone does stupid things, but for 20 years he went to prison. Oh. Yeah, and he was 32, and, yeah, it was just crazy. So I meet a lot of people like that along the way. I went to um, this boot camp. It's more than a boot camp. It's basically like a prison, and it's for people up to the age of 25. And, like, some of them are murderers, some of them have stolen cars, and they're looking at 25 years to life, and they get a second chance wow. by going to this boot camp. And I thought it'd be a great idea to, to become one of the prisoners for the day. And after about two hours, I was like, I can't oh, do this. Yeah. We click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. Yep. So no Botox now? Are we, are we, are we not no, doing we're not, anything uh, now? Maybe, like, a little bit once a year. OK. Yeah. Just a softening of the... OK. ...sadness. <laughs> of, like, a tired... <laughs> you know, and then it's like, ooh, I'm not so tired. 